We are still in Florida. <laughs> Don't ask questions. Okay, well, we are still in Florida. Surprise. Um, we are here at Antiques and Uniques. I believe we're in Melbourne. Uh, we're here with mom today. She is standing outside the car waiting for us. Uh, we're gonna head in here. I've never been to this antique mall before, uh, but I have had several viewers who are also vendors here um, in my comments saying you should come and check it out. So here we are. We're gonna head in and see what we can find. Bye and flip for a profit. Here we go. This is so cute. I feel like I've had this before. $35. Sweet with those crazy eyes. I'm not sure I could pay 35 and still flip it though, so we're gonna keep going this way. I lost mom at a booth full of jewelry, so I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up with some jewelry today. These are kind of cool down here. I realize that these are supposed to look, um, or maybe they are actually. Oh, they are. There are the antique carpet balls. Huh, <laughs> I thought, hey look, um, they, they are made to look like vintage carpet balls. I bought that antique carpet ball a while back um, at the other antique mall. I looked it up and it sold for really good money. This, they only have $25 on this. I don't know if it's worth grabbing these. They're really intricate and really cool. I thought they were reproductions, but um, you can see here where there's some wear that they actually do look to have some age to them. I think these are actually Victorian, um, which is super cool. So there's a few of them. They're $25 each. Um, I might grab those. And then what do we have? Are these also? Ooh, that's really heavy. Vintage style. Yeah, I think, I feel like that one doesn't have as much age to it. It sure is interesting, though. And then how about, ooh, they're all rolly. I don't, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want them to roll off and then stick it in the bowl. Let's check out the black ones. Those are interesting as well. What is this? Vintage style. So curious. I love the designs. So those are only 12. I might pick up these. So that's 100 and then 24 on the pair of these. They're also really nice decorative pieces just to put in a bowl. I see people do it with balls all the time. A bowl full of decorative balls. Why not? And now I have a cart full of balls. <laughs> Mom's gonna be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't ask questions. There's a McCoy cookie jar hiding down here. And a picture from Mount St. Helens Ash. I like that picture. Nice mountain scene on that. Lots of crystals and stuff in this booth. This turtle is $10. It's made in Indonesia. That was a pretty design. I abs I've never like really been attracted to crystals, but <laughs> walking by this, the way the light catches this labradorite, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, it's $98, so I probably wouldn't spend that, but um, I just thought that was amazing, the way the light catches it. It's really cool. Um, all right, now I see some Desirono glasses here. Sweet little candy dish. I feel like I sold one of those in my recent sales. There's some Fostoria. 75 on the Fostoria heirloom. I love Fostoria heirloom. I actually used to collect it. I still have a tendency to gravitate towards it, but um, I no longer have a collection. <laughs> but now I collect other things. Oh, $19.99 on that little vase. That might be worth picking up. It's a pretty blue. Well, I walked right by this. But I did just notice it has a um, piece missing out of it. That's a bummer. I love it. I walked by. I was like, whoa, look at that iridescence. But I don't know if I could pick it up. That's really pretty, too. Nice, pretty pink color. Huh. I kind of like that. All right, I got to go find Mom. There's a pretty looking dolphin. 1999 for the glass dolphin. It's got an interesting look to it. I don't know if it's Murano or not. I don't know. I think I'm going to pass on it. Is that weird? 
Maybe that's weird. I don't know. <laughs> I still haven't found mom. <laughs> I don't know where she went. She's not where I left her. There's that cute little Lisa Larson look-alike cat. I love these things. I think it's actually a Chia pet. <laughs> $29. <laughs> I have one of these on my shelf with my Lisa Larson collection. Um, it blends right in. <laughs> it's $29. And I think the one I have actually has a chip on the ear. But I love it. I love it. Uh, this is a cute derpy little puppy dog. 24 on that. These are really cool. Those are enamel on copper. They are three painted porcelain tile. Well, I think they're enamel on copper. I don't think they're porcelain. Those are really cool. I kind of wish I knew what they said. I'm sure that one of you might be able to uh, translate. But they are really interesting. And for the set of three, it's $79 plus 30% off. I'm just not brave enough without knowing exactly what's going on there. This is pretty. MCM ashtray. There is a marking on that. I don't know if I want the ashtray though. Oh, hey, look at this. This is uh, Diane something something. I've had this before. The turtle. Um, do you guys remember who makes it? What's her What's her name? Is it on here? Please be on here. It's not. Um, I've had. What was it? The crab. I think it was the crab. And I picked it up because I thought it was cute. And then come to find out it was worth a ton of money. I was blown away. Um, and so now when I find it, I'm always like, wait a second. I think that's something good. And so I'm going to grab this. Look, everything's blue. I must be feeling blue. Oh, this is a whole set. I'm like, why does that say $0 on the tag? Oh, it says $0 because it's for the whole set. Only $46. I wish I knew who KS was. It's not a bad price for those either. Again, I think I'm just being picky because I know that I'm going to be at Mount Dora in a few days and I'm probably going to be buying lots of things. There's some cute puppies. Little glass. Oh my gosh, there's a whole booth full of puppies. Look at this. <laughs> the booth is called Dogginess. It makes sense. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Maybe we can find a dog in here. Look at them all. Look at these cuties. Those are Boyd in all the colors. Wow, this poodle is very dapper sitting in a chair with glasses on. Oh, wow. That is a fancy poodle. 24 on that. Be about what I would expect to get on that. These magnetic trinket boxes. I usually pick those up when they're about like eight bucks. He is so cute. He looks like made in Italy. He's 12. Look at that face. It's such a cute face. I almost missed this. That is carved from wood. He's very sweet. He is 45. It's a nice inverted strawberries. So it's just got some condition issues. Ooh, look at all the rose medallion. Do not move or touch. Uh, $50 on saucer. Looks to have some age. You can see how thin it is. Lots of chipping on the edges. It's definitely older though. Nice pieces. This one looks more contemporary to me. 95. Those are gorgeous, but looking at the reflection, I think the price for both is 200. I don't know. I can tell they have some age, but I just don't know. One is as is. So, some really nice stuff in this booth. A little crowded, but that's the way I like it. Sneak back here. I want to look at this bird. Hey, birdie, birdie. Some really pretty coloring. 54 on the bird with the big tail. That's Murano, I would say. I like the red tail. It's very vibrant. I don't know. These are the fancy poles I was thinking about earlier, the decorative kind. That you can buy at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They're just decorative. 
those are what I, that's what I thought I was picking up when I found those other balls. And I'm like, wait a second. These actually look like they have some age to them. And they're very heavy. It's wild. That is a beautiful candlestick holder, but that is $180. That blue vase is really nice too. I really like this booth. Lots of jewelry jars and this beautiful lady, but she's missing part of her hand. Oh, she's Yadro holding a dove. The dove is missing. She's not holding a dove. <laughs> All right, let's see. This is 150. I really love the design of that. I just don't know 150. I feel like that's right about retail. If I was buying that for myself, I'd scoop it up for 150. Okay, well, Mom said she was in the back of the store, and I couldn't find her in the back of the store, but I just found that there is an actual back to the back of the store. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a back to the back of the store. I was, like, in the back out there, and I'm like, I don't know where she's at. And then I found this, like, secret room that leads to the back, back of the store. <laughs> It's not really my jam, but it's somebody's jam. Ooh, look. Korea. Man, 130 on that. That's so crazy. I was walking by, I saw that. I was like, what is that? Like, this is something you expect to see in a locked case. Sure enough. Um, you guys might remember the, um, the decanter I got in Rose's basement when I went with Andrew and Laurel and we were in um, Haber de Grace. It was missing the stopper, but that is the same artist. They make some really fun cat paperweights. Oh, those are um, Scottish antique carpet balls. Oh, for playing bocce? I don't, I guess. I don't <laughs> oh, know. I think that's it. kind of something like, like a game similar to that. But they're antique Victorian. Oh, wow. Like, you feel the weight of them. Yeah, like... I felt it. I, don't, I just didn't want to drop it on the <laughs> So this right here is my all-time favorite um, cat paperweight that this company makes. You can see it right there. It's like this cat looking into the fishbowl. Uh, but I decided to look it up to see. Here it is. It's over $245. Uh, let's scroll down. Oh, here, $150. $140. 135 and then we're right here in this 130 range which is what it is priced at so I'm gonna leave it for resale but maybe somebody will come around and snatch it up for their personal collection this is nice um, it does have a made in Murano sticker but it looks like somebody stuck it on there after it's upside down I don't know it doesn't just it just doesn't strike me as being Murano made 65. There's also another sticker underneath that I'm curious about. Um, okay, I don't know about that. It is really nice though. I don't think I'm gonna mess with that. They have some fun stuff in this booth for being hidden in the back corner. Um, over here, they're behind the paperweight. You guys may have noticed that um, for eight bucks. He kind of looks like Artisania Rinconata. His tag just fell off. But he's got a hole in the bottom. I don't know. I think I'll grab the sea otter for eight. All right. Soup bowl. Jordan Hyde. I really love the texture on this bowl. It's $7.95. The color is amazing. I'm going to grab it. Um, they're playing some really fun music here in this mall. Mom and I were just dancing. <laughs> I'm sure they got some great stuff on the security footage. Oh, he's a cute little sea otter. <laughs> Resin. Aww. Aww. Cute. <laughs> it's cute. You might like some of the stuff that's over there. Oh, I'm yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, this is a leave your card outside kind of booth. Wowzers. Lots of fun stuff in here. Perfumes. Ooh, fairy lights. Fairy light pieces. I love finding fairy light pieces. Only. Oh, there's a base only. <laughs> My kind of place. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Yeah. Wow. I told you you'd like it here. And this <laughs> one has the, the bottom is different. 
Got some nice pieces in here. That is nice. It's interesting. Yeah. And then this one is interesting with the, I don't know what the, the song is. draped. Like. Draped. <laughs> 65 on that. I like the looks of the white and blue. Yeah. Got some cute stuff. There's the inverted strawberry. You see this one? Yeah, the Westmoreland. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And that one, um, that one was 35. 35. I like the shape of that. Yeah. I don't know if the cloudiness, you could get rid of the cloudiness. You can. Time. Do you want to know what you have to use? What do you need to use? Bong cleaner. <laughs> oh, I got some of that in my... Do you? Yeah, my bong. I'll have to borrow some. <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit that part out. Just kidding. I'm going to leave it in because it's funny. Um, <laughs> there's some potting shed. It doesn't matter. <laughs> if only they had done the eyes right. <laughs> it's the eyes for me. The eyes just aren't. They aren't they're not doing it. Have worked a little harder on the eyes. I just found this really cute purse that I think Juliet would love. It's got little hearts on the side. Um, I think it's made out of recycled materials. But it's just really cute. So she's getting to the age of accessorizing. <laughs> We're gonna stick that in there. Let's keep wandering. Mom went in the other direction to uh, check out some of the booths I had already gone by. And we're going this way. Oh, those are fun. Holiday items. Not sure which holiday. Maybe Halloween. And that is a little wheel jumping through a hoop. And it's darling. <laughs> it's hiding down there on the bottom shelf. There are some googly-eyed alligators for two dollars each. Those are wonderful. I think I'll take them with me. Twenty-four artisan rinconada. There's also all these little turtles, but um, I don't think those are artisan. Yeah. art glass 45 I love the threading you can feel that some of it's coming off so hmm. I might grab that for 45 Ooh, it's getting a little hairy in there thank you 28 each on the little magnetic pieces. Here's one. Mm. Some fun stuff in this booth. Mm, a few wheat and bottles down here. But I usually like to only pay less than five. Because um, I charge eight for mine. Ooh, she's fun. Fairy. 59 each. But you get all of them. Oh, six. Yeah, you get all six. 50% off, right? What? Yeah. What? 50% yeah. <laughs> off? <laughs> that changes things. <laughs> Buy all the little figurines. Yeah. Is that a popular It's idea? not really. McCoy in general, What's unfortunately. The over there? That's McCoy as well. Yeah. Here is a Harmony Kingdom toucan. He's got a little chip on his beak, though. That's disappointing. I'm gonna grab a few keychains. I've been picking up little things here and there for the kids for uh, Valentine's Day. Um, I'm just gonna see if there's anything else. I mean, there's tons of stuff in here I would buy. Especially considering now it's 50% off. I didn't realize that when I first came through here, but um, I think I'm good for now. Go 
God, I'm in love with him. Look at this raccoon. <laughs> He's 50% off. <laughs> He's so fantastic. Is he not the cutest thing? He's got a chip on his ear. Oh my God, I love him so much. Also, I don't need a cookie jar. I don't know. He's 50% off of 90, so he's 50 bucks. He's so sweet. I have no idea what is happening here, but I feel like I need to get this for Andrew. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay, so there's some prints back here and I thought, those look really familiar. And do you know why those look familiar? Those look familiar because I picked up a Virgo uh, print that I have hanging in my house. Now these are $14.99 each. These are Margo Johnson. Um, so I looked up Margo Johnson. Um, you can see here, this is this is worth point. This is a paid service I use. Um, it, it, I have it linked down in the description of my videos. It is an affiliate link. So if you sign up using my link, I do receive a small commission that goes towards supporting my channel. Um, but here you can see this print right here with the owl so for $129. Now there is some uh, discoloration on it. They're asking uh, $15 for it. Now I'd be buying it for myself. I wouldn't be buying it for a resale, but that makes me feel good. Like I'm getting a really good deal on it and I like that feeling. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna buy all three of these. Um, just because I really love this artwork. I always have, um, usually when I find the, um, the horoscope ones, the astrology ones, um, they're usually like $75 in the antique mall. So when I saw these for 15, I was like, wait a second. And they even appear to be in original frames. So let's pull those out and get them into the cart for 15 a piece. Hi. <laughs> $16. He's just got good attitude. He's got a good attitude for a cat. All right, it's almost time for us to get out of here. They're closing in about a half hour. I feel like that's about the time where we need to start heading towards the exit. We didn't get through the whole antique mall, which is unfortunate. I didn't really expect us to. Oh, we got pretty close though, so. Oh, look, huh, that's what I was looking for. I was gonna try to find a Funko Pop for Andrew, but I don't think any of these are really exciting for him. I don't know. Oh, John McClane. That's what I'm talking about, but that I don't think he'd care about that. <laughs> That's more me. Um, okay. So, bummer. Alright. 1895. Ooh, that's interesting. I've got fishes on it. $9.95. Just a small chip on that. Today I'm not in a forgiving mood. I like this booth. Oh, I really like this booth. Hi, friends. How nice to see you here. Aww. Oh, my friends. I, I even love these. I forget who makes these. Where are these from? Pablo is a ball. Aren't these so fun? And it's so awesome to see them all lined up like these. Um, I love these little blue creatures. They're so great. I might grab a few of those as well, but I think I'm gonna pick up a few of these artists on your Rinconada. I don't really like the people as much. I'm more about the critters. I'm gonna grab the critters. Let's see what we've got on these. Oh, he's 90 bucks. I feel like the first time I ever saw this, it was at the Hoarder House. See the marking there. I was so excited about it just because it looks so nice. And it is from Chile. Maybe we should grab a few of the smaller pieces. Like a little toucan. He's very sweet. This looks like a deer. Oh, it's a donkey. 25. Oh, the weird smirking fish. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Oh, it's 513. Alright. That's our cue. All right, well our total spend here today at Antiques and Uniques in Melbourne, Florida was $595. But we found some really cool stuff and I'm excited for all the things we found. Got lots of blue stuff today.
blue seemed to be the theme of the day. It was not intentional, but it happened. Uh, Mom, did you find some cool stuff? Yeah, that decanter with the bird in it. It's a Michael Graves decanter. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I, I did buy it. <laughs> you couldn't help yourself. <laughs> I might use it once or twice before I put it in the booth. <laughs> I like it. All yeah. right. Well, we're going to get going now. We have a Super Bowl party in about right now. Um, so I guess we'll see all of you guys tomorrow. Say hello.